We'll start with Susan Slusser. Hi, right, Chad. You, you guys got the two home runs, yours and Chris Davis's, and not a lot else. What, what did you feel like was going on with you offensively? What were they doing that was that was so effective? Um, Fran Brown is even he pitched a great game. I mean, as you guys could see, I mean, he's moving the ball all over the play, both sides with a sinker. Um, he uh, was locating his curveball, sprinkling in a change up. Um, you know, he made some adjustments later in the game where he was moving the, with, with the two seam. Um, he had it front hipping. Uh, you know, he just he pitched a great game. How do you feel about the situation the team is in right now? You have to win three in a row to advance. You did it twice last week. Uh, what's sort of the mindset right now? Uh, we'll just regroup, uh, get back at it tomorrow, like you said. Um, you know, possibly three games left, and we just got to go play our, our game. Um, you know, got nothing to lose from here. Just go out there and play, keep playing hard, and, you know, just keep trying to string together good at-bats. Manolo Hernandez doing. Hey, hey, Chad, you know, that ball you hit uh, for a home run is uh, the longest uh, home run all year here in Dodger Stadium, uh, 453. Feet. And, uh, could you talk a little bit about the, you know that home run, and also talk a little bit about Chris Davis, who is uh, you know reaching to his, one of his best uh, moments in the uh, in this year, you know home runs two days in a row. Yeah, I was just trying to get a fastball sinker out up over the plate. Uh, again, one of the few mistakes he made today, uh, and I got the pitch I was looking for, and I was able to put a good swing on it. Um, you know, he didn't make too many of those mistakes today. Um, and as far as KD, um, you know, the past five games, KD has been, he's been incredible. Um, he's putting together great at bats each time. Everything, you know, when, when KD gets to the plate, you know, everybody's holding their breath because that guy can change a game in one swing. We've seen it for the last five years, um, you know, and he's coming back around and, you know, we just got to uh, hopefully get some, some runners on for him tomorrow and, uh, you know, like KD be KD. Melissa Lockhart. Um, there, there's sort of been a struggle with runners on base just in general, um, you know, even dating back to the last series. Is, is there something that you think changes, um, you know, an approach at all when there's runners maybe in scoring position or even just on base as opposed to um, when there's no one on? No, it, it sh I mean, it shouldn't. You know, when you when you got runners on, you know the job you have to do. Um, you know the approach you have to have. Um, and, you know, Everyone's trying to, to do those things. Um, sometimes it's just you don't get it done, and we do have to be better about it as a collective. And, you know, we got tomorrow, and we got to keep fighting. Martin Gallegos. Hey, Chad, on top, of, on top of the Astros bringing some guys who can throw some, you know, high velocity out of the bullpen, how, how difficult was it with the shadows today? Um, looked pretty kind of rough out there in the late innings. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, Yesterday and in the eighth inning today, uh, you know, once the shadow gets past the pitcher's mound, it's not terrible. You know, I saw the ball decent in my last at bat. Um, yeah, nothing where the shadows affected me, but I did notice in the eighth inning today and then the ninth inning yesterday when that shadow's kind of halfway that some of the swings, it, it just seemed like that ball was getting on people. So, um, you know, I didn't hit in either of those two innings, um, but – you know, you, you've done it before. I mean, we play baseball games at the Coliseum where the shadow, it's its there every single time we start at 6 p.m., you know, so there's no excuse. Susan Slusser. Chad, uh, both games you guys have scored first, and then they've come back pretty quickly and taken the lead. Has that changed the momentum significantly? What's, what's that done sort of for the energy in the, the dugout? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely – Changed the energy. I mean, you know, we put them on their heels and they put us on our heels. And, you know, we knew, we really knew going into this, this was going to be a dogfight. I mean, this is a team with experience in the postseason. They've got great talent. Um, and, you know, they're not going to just roll over, you know, and um, we got to find a way to, to pull ourselves out of this. And, and if it's one big hit or one big inning and, you know, we, we got to somehow find it in us tomorrow to do that. Thank you, Chad.